processing data for Newton's second law one. You will have recorded and have had many trials and stored lots of data over here. We can see that some lines are steeper than others, but now we need to get the actual acceleration. You know the acceleration is the gradient of the velocity time graph. And so to make things clear, we'll do one graph at a time. To only see one piece of data, you can double click the graph and it will bring up something like this. I've named each of my runs 10 grams, 15 grams, 20 grams, 25 grams, etc. So I need to go through and turn off the velocities of the ones I do not want to see. So I'll turn off every one and I'll just leave one on. This is the orange color, so we'll see the orange color still here. Now that we only have the orange data, let me select the parts that I want. I'm going to click linear fit. And we're going to get the value 0 0.7553. Again, we'll do trial two. Linear fit 0 0.7611. So again, quite close. And trial three. linear fit and 0 0.7458. So the gradient of velocity time graph is equal to the acceleration. I can then place that in my Excel table.